Um, uh, Nick and Nick and Chase, I, I want, can you tell us a little bit about who you Inc? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, so yeah, who you Inc? Uh, we are a Pittsburgh startup going through Alpha Lab right now. Uh, if you're not familiar with Alpha Lab, it is the premier startup accelerator here in Pittsburgh. Uh, highly recommend you check out their page, alphalab.com, or org, I think it is actually. But uh, yeah, so who you? We uh, are a mobile application company uh, working on forming these very tight knit, small, dynamic social networks. So these networks basically form up around you when you interact with other people that are in the same room as you. The point of doing this is so that you can really interact with those people around you that you don't know. Unlike typical social media that deals with only online things, we're trying to bridge that technology gap into actually interacting in the real life. Yeah, basically, you know, when you when you're out and about and you know potentially meeting people or you know, going, going to social events, events we we'll finally have to do that. that all help you feel, feel, you know, maybe a little awkward about going out with someone you don't know or even that, that, you know, carry with them that, that really likes, likes that, that, you know, one movie that nobody else knows about. Um, so, hoping to bridge that gap. <laughs> Sorry, but we had a little bit of double. You guys are in the same room, so I think we're getting a little bit of crosstalk there. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm right. trying to uh, mute now when uh, yeah, the other right. one's talking. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it sounded really interesting because like, we're at Open Coffee Club, and this is like kind of a, a small networking event to get me, you know, you guys in the company and everything, and and whatever else networking goes on there. Um, and, and it seemed really, you know, as we were, you know, talking about uh, uh, there, but how like you know, people aren't good at networking, right? They don't know, you know, I go to these things, like, I, I'm like, okay, who are the companies? Where do I start? And I just talk to the first person who looks lonely, you know, and see where it goes from there. Um, you know, can you talk a little bit more about how, how uh, your application is looking to kind of solve that, that issue? Yeah, so uh, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, as you said, for me especially, like, you know, I'm a self-proclaimed introvert, so networking is not the, uh, the best thing for me to, well, always great but I'm not mm -hmm. very talented at it so right. one of the things I like to know is who's around me at a given time and like there are obviously certain people that you're trying to look for like you know for for us for example it's you know uh, you know potential investors people who are interested just in like what what are we doing and and everything and uh, you know trying to find those people in a crowd unless they're standing right next to you and they're really self-proclaiming themselves is a very difficult task even if they're wearing a name tag, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. And then you're awkwardly staring at somebody's chest, right? So the idea here is that using Bluetooth low energy, you can really do these little tags on people. And these tags give you this look into seeing the people that are actually in the same room as you. and give you kind of like a little uh, in-depth dive into them. So you match like a face to a name. You can see like what company they're working for, maybe something that they're here for doing for this event right now. So for the Open Coffee Club, I probably would have announced, hey, I'm who you, Inc. CEO Chase Midler, come talk to me. And then you would have been easily able to find out who I was and what I did. Mm -hmm. um, and, how, how do you tag yourself? Is it Do you tag yourself with attributes or is it more, is, is there a limit to like how, how many tags you can have? Or is it more just like you were talking about with like a short short intro about yourself and then you can you can kind of put that face to the name and go from there? So yeah, so the uh, the main view is really like a list of people, and it, the idea is that we want you to quickly be able to get through and just know information about them really quickly, right? So the main screen gives you like a name, a face, a little short information blurb, and then uh, really like a green or red is to tell you if this person is e either open to talking or is busy and doesn't want to talk right now. And then if you actually click on them, you can get a deeper dive. And then you can actually see a lot more information to really process down and like get a lot more information if that very first part intrigues you within the networking part. So I'm 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 completely <laughs> interested in this. So I'm going to ask like eight thousand questions. Um, <laughs> so so from that, can you like go back and look? Say I didn't get to come talk to you, but I wanted to. Does it give? Can it keep like a log or anything to figure out? Yeah. Like, oh, that's actually one of my favorite features of the the app. There, um, you know, if you are a more social person and you are an extrovert and you're used to talking to all these people, you know, my issue is uh, I'm really good at remembering people's uh, faces, but terrible at the names. So with our app, you know, as soon as I meet somebody, I have a good conversation. I can quickly uh, save their profile and add my own personal notes to you know the last time I talked to them that. You know, the next time they're around, the next time they come up, the next time I want to view that profile, I'll have everything I, you know, took a snapshot of right there. 
And again, you know, that that available or busy is, you know, a key feature for me just because every time you talk to somebody, you have that, you know, quick moment where you're you're wondering if you're interrupting something they're doing or not. So now with our app, I'll know right away, like, hey, this person's busy. I might want to check back later or, you know, they're they're available. They're, they're open to being approached. So I'm good to go. Very cool. Very, very cool. Can you can you put links in your in your in your um profile or whatnot where i could like give a link to my website or you were talking about like you can tap on the person and kind of gives you a more in-depth piece of information can i include like um like my linkedin profile or if i have my own website or or anything like that so right now we want to make sure uh, that we're or i'll go i guess yeah so uh (laughs) so right now what we're really doing is we're actually beta testing the app out so we're trying to get you know a lot of user feedback to see like what are all the attributes and everything that people want to use. So right now, yeah, you can you can put that in like this little short blurb area, but there is a dedicated space to it until we really find out you know what really are the best features to add to allow people to really connect in the mm-hmm. best way possible. So yes, it's a potential, but currently it's not actually implemented. Cool. Yeah, we're trying to give our users what they what they really want right now, and you know make sure we're not wasting time on things that they don't need yet. So. Uh... That's one of those. It's kind of in the queue to be tested. Mm-hmm. Um, and then along with that, we want to make sure that, you know, as we're adding these features, we don't, we want to make sure that, you know, the last thing we want is a big group of people all standing around in a group and they're meeting people, but everybody's staring at their phones. So we want to make sure that everything we add kind of facilitates the, the real world interaction. We don't want to, you know, go where most everybody else is going and, mm-hmm. you know, facilitating communications via the app and things like that. We want guys talking to people in real life. See, I, 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 I mean, I can think of so many places where I would love to have this tool uh, from conferences to job fairs to, to all like anywhere where you want to try to seek out mm-hmm. individuals mm-hmm. with certain attributes or even I mean I, I go to events and then I'm looking at okay who is the geeks in the crowd that I have something in common with and I could quickly make that connection and, and carry on a conversation versus maybe someone that is huge into baseball, which is not a huge interest of mine. Uh, You're if, describing our, our main problem right now. You know, you know, we yeah. have something good. We're really trying to slim down and, you know, get each mark, get one at a time. Um, mm-hmm. We've had, you know, a lot of feedback, a lot of feature requests for, you know, everything that people want to use for business, for social and everything. So, you know, we want to get the social side um, attacked first and make sure we're getting our user base. And then, you know, as soon as we establish that, you can bet that we're going to pull out, the, you know, the next version, next app for the next uh, niche. Very cool. Very, very cool. And, and I like, because, you know, the initial impression, like, I was trying to remember, like, didn't the highlight do something? And, and, and one thing you were talking about, like, was was how, you know, any of these apps is the look for somebody in your area are using geotagging or, like, a mile radius which isn't practical, right? And I remember like something like Highlight would just just suck down your battery so bad was one of the biggest problems with it. Yeah, so that's actually one of the huge advantages we're, we're leveraging here is uh, the Bluetooth Low Energy, which just came out here in the past two or three years uh, with the libraries on both iOS and Android devices. Uh, so Bluetooth Low Energy uses, I, I see negligible battery difference when I have it on on my phone. And it really, we had taken advantage of the fact that Bluetooth is terrible going through stuff like walls. So really the people that you see are the people that are actually in the room with you, whereas geotagging or something could be, you know, even try to put down a very small radius, and it's going to be people, you know, halfway across the street in a building that you'll never interact with or ever never run into. Right, right, especially in a city. That's just, the, 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 yeah, that's that, that, that works a lot better. Excellent. So, so uh, what did you say? You're at a, at a beta uh, uh, state now. Um, like, what are, what's your kind of uh, outlook here? Like, when can people, you know, hop in on a beta or, or even maybe, maybe hopefully see it, uh, you know, to play around with it themselves? Yeah, we actually um, we we're just trying to go through the app store. Um, we're, we're doing a, a quick version too. They they had a small problem with our first version, um, mm-hmm. so we're releasing back into there. Mostly my fault <laughs> on Chase's coding there. <laughs> but um, we are releasing to uh, events here. We're going to roll out um, on an event basis. Uh, we have to have an invite code and things on, once we are in the App Store. But um, we have a lot of events lined up where people are going to get a special code where they'll be able to really you know, nice. be the first uh, large-scale testers on the app um, right away. And 
we'll take that feedback and, you know, kind of add it in the features that people really need to do updates in there. Nice. And this is going to be iPhone first, I take it? Yeah, it's yeah. iPhone first. And um, so actually, if you want to go sign up for some of our betas, you can go to our Facebook page and uh, we're going to be posting a link there. Uh, we've already posted one. We'll, we'll post it again to sign up to actually for a beta list. And we actually have an event tomorrow, uh, 9 o'clock p.m. down at Cativo uh, in Lawrenceville. Uh, we're going to be, you know, getting people to, to use the event in, uh, in the bar there, uh, you know, see a social setting and there's karaoke and stuff. So hopefully it'll be a nice, good time for everyone to uh, test this out, give us some good feedback, let us hear from you guys. So, yeah, please come and show up yep. if you're interested. We're doing trivia into, you know, some testing into karaoke, and uh, we'll be giving out a $50 gift card to one of the people that, you know, submits feedback to us so we can keep improving and, you know, work on speed here. Nice. nice. Very cool. I like that. I, I like these uh, um, 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 inter interaction assistants. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we've had discussions <laughs> in the past few weeks about on some of the other shows that we've been doing about, you know, you know, you know, social media and the technology taking the place of our interactions. But I like that it assists some of us that do have a problem with something like that. You know, the, the, the other thing is, that, and just as my own personal opinion, going looking at PodCamp and being able to know that someone's Twitter handle. Right, because so many people on Twitter, you don't know who they are from their from their icon or their avatar. Um, but it's like if you can, if if in your app you could put a face to a name and a, more importantly for me a Twitter handle, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. would bridge that gap. Please have who please is who. <laughs> please if I can make a feature request, please <laughs> yeah. have something where somebody can't put their dog as their face in your application because that kills me on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon. We're definitely soon. looking into that. <laughs> Some of the early feedback we got. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Check it out. Uh, who you Inc. That's uh, W H O Y U Inc. dot com. If you want to check that out, they're on Facebook, they're on uh, 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 Twitter as well. And I'll be interested to keep an eye out and see what you guys are uh, uh, doing with this as it comes out. So awesome. Uh, so if you guys want to hang out, we're going to be talking some more awesome things and some tech news. All right. Can't wait. Great. All right, so let's get into some...